On this breadboard I have created a Master Slave D flip-flop. Each group of four transistors consists of two NMOS and two PMOS transistors. These are wired together to form a single NAND gate. The NAND gate structure is replicated four times and wired together to form a transparent D latch. This latch structure is replicated a second time and together the two form the master slave flip-flop. The clock structure is provided by two inverter gates, each consisting of one NMOS and one PMOS transistor. This switch and LED provide the clock input. This switch and LED provide the data input. The master slave flip-flop is not transparent, so no matter how much I toggle the data input, you will observe the output does not change. However, if I assert the data input on the rising edge of the clock, the output has now mirrored the data. After the rising edge, I can toggle the data input again as much as I want without affecting the output until the next rising edge of the clock. So now the data is low, a rising edge of the clock makes the output match the data. And again, I can keep toggling the data as much as I want. Likewise, even when the clock input is high, I can toggle the data because it's positive edge latched rather than level latched. And that's it.